is up, everybody? Welcome to the Wild Nutrition Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Heskett, and this is, I believe, episode 135. I know we're in like the mid 130s. Um, all right, let's get into today's topic. So we're going to be talking about everything being figure outable, not saying I can't do something. Um, one of the most common things I've seen over the years coaching is people are like, I am desperate to lose weight, present plan. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. So you present everything and then they kind of look at you like, well, aren't you going to help me? Like you literally said no to everything that you need to do to help you. And then they're like, well, can't you just give me a pill or something? And it's like, no, not even like medicine necessarily works that way. Um, there's not always just like a pill to magically fix everything. So that's today's topic. Before we jump into that real quick, give the show a like, comment, um, review, subscribe, depending on which platform, you know, if you're on Apple or Spotify, make sure to give it uh to subscribe and give a like five star review. If you're on YouTube, again, like subscribe. Um, I'm not sure what the other platforms are like. I know the podcast goes out to Amazon and iHeartRadio and the other ones. Um, so with that being said, let's go into it. Let's get into today's topic. Actually, one more thing. Um, we are doing a 90 day challenge starting in well, 10 days from now. Uh, the 27th, I believe, is when the official kickoff is. So 10 days, we are starting a 90-day Fitter Than Fuck challenge. So it is full price is two ninety seven right now. There's a few days left. You can get a early bird discount. So it would be $50 off. Um, so if you listen to the podcast today or this weekend, make sure you go and do that. So I'm going to have the link down below. If you are interested in getting the $50 off, message me through one of the channels. Um, so Facebook, Instagram, etc. cetera. Um, send me a message there. Do not message me on this app. I will not see it in time um, or whatever app you're watching this from. So if Spotify, YouTube, I'm probably not going to see it. Message me through Instagram or Facebook. The links are down below. Uh, TikTok's okay. So if it's the only one you have, you can message me. They're sometimes a little weird. Uh, they, I don't always see those notifications. Um, but Instagram and Facebook, I check on the regular. Instagram's actually a little bit better. Um, so send me a message there. All right. Let's get into today's thing. So as I said earlier, a lot of times I've been working with clients and they're desperate to lose weight. They'll do anything to lose weight. Literally the words out of their mouth, except literally everything as a coach, I will say. And this is challenging because there's a disconnect from what actually needs to be done to lose weight and what actually is possible when you aren't going all in with everything. So we need to get into a calorie deficit, which means if you're not doing that already, we have to adjust your diet in some way, somehow. We have to get into that calorie deficit. Um, exercise will make things easier. You don't have to exercise, but it will make it much, much easier. Uh, we have to get enough sleep. We have to manage our stress. We have to do a lot of things that you're probably not doing right now if you need to lose a significant amount of weight. By significant, I mean like 20, 30 or more pounds. There's a lot of different things that need to come together for you to be successful long term. But if you're not willing to make changes to your diet, then you're going to struggle uh, long term because we don't have an issue with getting weight off. You can be like, okay, just don't eat anything. Okay, just eat crap. Like go on the MLM plan, do shakes at one meal a day, and the weight will come off. Like we can't deny that the scale weight goes down. The problem is the scale weight always comes back up because nobody has a weight loss problem. You know how to lose weight. Guarantee you know some destructive way that you can drop weight really quickly. The problem is the weight always comes back, which is where you end up like being stuck. I've said it a couple times, we don't have a weight loss problem. Everybody knows how to lose weight. We have a weight regain problem because we don't make small adjustments that we can then use in the real world. 
um, we expect things to be like Amazon Prime, like two day delivery on our dream body. But reality is it's going to take a couple years probably for most of us. So when you're feeling stuck, like I don't have time to work out. I don't, I don't know how, what to eat. I don't know. The, those are valid feelings. I'm not saying don't have those feelings come up, but a lot of times they overwhelm. Like there's this huge laundry list of all these things I should be doing. I don't even know where to start. And so you don't do any of them. Instead, we want to focus on a few things. Chances are, if you start working out, like you're like, oh, my family won't eat healthy. I won't, we won't do blah, blah, blah. Okay, then just start with the workout part. Chances are you'll know if you eat slightly healthier, you will feel better. You will have better workouts. So you're like, well, I want to eat better because I now I'm starting to enjoy my workouts. I'm seeing progress. I'm going to start trying to eat a little bit better. I have a little bit more push because, well, I feel better in the gym. Like it's not an excuse of like, oh, well – we're eating healthy because I want to lose weight. And the rest of him is like, oh, we're on the health kick again. It'll last like six weeks. And then we come back off. No, it's a little bit different this time. Um, but it also doesn't need to be perfect. Like if you're trying to be like, we're going to cut out all processed food. We're going to do all this stuff. Like you don't need to. It can be every single meal. We have a big portion of protein. Like, okay, we're going to do pasta night, but there's way more protein every single time. We're doing pasta night, but there's salad there. We're going to do a veggie at every single meal. Simple fixes like that go a long way. We don't have to track every single macro at the beginning. Will you get there? Yes, probably. Probably going to end up tracking at some point. But we don't have to start there. And a lot of people will say like, well, I, it, it's too stressful to track all my food. Okay, there is a skill part doesn't mean you have to do that. Let's start with, okay, let's just make some swaps. Where's your protein? Where's your veggie with each meal? Let's just start there. Make sure your plate's like, that's two thirds of your plate right there or three quarters even. All right. Yeah. Three quarters would be best. Like quarter protein, half veggies, and then a quarter carb. All right. Now we have room, like we're going to see progress. And when you have time, you can be like, okay, I'm going to start tracking food. <laughs> sure, well, I'm going. Oh, shit. Um, we're going to start tracking food now. So now you start to realize, oh, this, this carb isn't actually that high in carbs, but it's higher in fat. Or this carb is actually a carb-fat combo. This carb is actually very high in carbs, while this one isn't that I thought was actually worse. And that's the power of tracking, but we don't need to start there. We can start small. We can start with small changes. If it's ordering out, you get fast food every single day. Some people do. Guess what? All that nutrition info is available online. So what you'll do is you'll go online and you'll pick a few things. And those are the things you're going to stick with. And this leads into tracking and being in calorie deficit. So if you kind of like go out for breakfast, you go out for lunch, and then you come home for dinner you're like, I, I just don't want to really track my food all that much. Okay. So what you'll do is if you go to the same places over and over for breakfast and lunch, you'll have a few options and you're going to kind of stick to those couple options. Why? You'll know the calories. You'll know the macros. So you, breakfast is consistent. Lunch is consistent. And then the only thing that changes is dinner. And maybe a snack here or there. But we can also do like snack that every day you take in – X as a snack or these three options and you kind of rotate through and they're all like similar in calories and macros and everything. That's how you stay in calorie deficit without actually tracking much at all. You basically stay consistent. That's how you lose weight while not needing to meal prep every single meal. You basically eat in a very consistent way all the time. Is it a little bit boring? Sure. Sure. But it gives you that freedom of like dinner is going to be different all the time. So you can just do what you're already doing. You don't have to bring in a lunch. You don't have to meal prep or breakfast. I would recommend do, getting to that point. But to start out, you do that. You just start with those things and then you start adjusting. Oh, this this meal is way higher. Improved. That, and that's going online looking at the nutrition info. I'm like, okay. 
This one too high in fat. This one is too many calories. This one is just right for protein and everything. So we're going to go with these couple of options and you want a couple of options. Cause if you just stick with one, sometimes if a place runs out, you don't know what to do that can throw you off when you're just starting out. Um, if you are getting a different craving, you can switch to something else. Um, so you can get a few different options and just play with, play with that. And that's kind of like meal planning without actually meal planning. And so it takes the can't, well, I can't eat healthy bullshit. You can, you're eating three times a day as it is maybe two times a day. So let's just change it up. Let's figure it out. Um, you can't work out. What can we do? Can we get 15 minute workouts in? can we get steps and can we do these other things? Can't get enough sleep. Can we improve the sleep? Why aren't we getting enough sleep? Are we staying up too late? Are we, and that time is not being utilized correctly. Like we're not, we're staying up late and it's cause we're like doom scrolling social media. Are we doing X, Y, and Z? Like there's so many things we can't just say I can't and shut down there. It's okay. If this goal is important to me, what can I do with my schedule to figure it out? Cause the immediate shutdown of, I can't do something is bullshit. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. You don't actually want to change. You want the result. You don't want to do the things that get you the result. It's kind of like how everyone wants to win the lottery. Okay, great. One in, I think it's 30 million chance. <laughs> Chances are that you're not going to be one of the ones that can do that. So especially if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably not one in the 30 million. So Instead of saying, I can't, I don't have time, I, what are the changes I can do? And this is the difference between someone who's going to stay stuck and someone who's actually going to be successful. The person who's successful is going to be like, I can do these things. It will be slower. The other person is waiting for the perfect time. They're not doing anything. And when that perfect time comes up, they're like, great, I'm ready to go. Let's dive all in because I'm an all or nothing person. Holy fuck, this is a massive laundry list. I'm trying to change everything and I'm getting resistance. I'm getting resistance internally because I'm trying to make these drastic changes. And so all my old habits are trying to come back all the time. My brain's working against me. And then family and friends are also working against me because it's a drastic change on everyone. Or, okay, in a few months, it's going to be a really great time to really dial in. But for right now, what can I do? This is an important goal of mine. I want to be healthy. I want to have more energy. I want to be in shape. Okay. I can't do much in workouts, but I can get two 20 minute workouts in per week. Okay. Let's do that. And I can, I, I don't have the capacity. I don't want to add any more stress. So I'm not going to try, but every single meal, we're going to have some sort of veggie. We're going to have some sort of protein. And I'm going to cut back snacking to once or twice a day. So one to two snacks per day. I'm going to eat three times per day. That's it. Great. Um, I'm going to try to get enough sleep. I'm going to try to get steps in. That's how you break things down. Instead of I can't do everything. So therefore, I'm not going to do anything. Let's start with small and start doing a few things because it snowballs. Because when once you start working out, you're going to be like, hmm, I wish I could do more. Well, can I find more time? Because it's going to be easier once you've kind of scheduled these in and blocked them out. I really enjoy this. So I'm going to try to find more time. Hey, I feel better when I eat a certain way. My workouts are better. My recovery is better. My sleep is better. My energy levels are better. My mood is better. Okay, so that's going to snowball. When I eat these things, I feel crappy and I feel tired. So I'm going to eat less of that stuff more of these other things without really consciously trying to track your macros. You're just making these small changes over time. Okay. Um, we're going to get enough sleep. I feel way better. My workouts are way better when I get enough sleep. Great. And you see how that snowballs. And then once that time frame comes up of, Hey, it is time to actually take action. I can go all in. 
You've built all these habits up and you go all in. I can now track my macros. Great. You're also probably not eating all over the place. You're eating fairly consistently. You kind of have portions down. You've kind of figured out protein. So instead of trying to like figure out all the macros, you're probably already pretty close and it's more like fine tuning despite not tracking your macros all that much. And maybe you do need to like really fine tune protein. You're like, wow, I was way under. Well, okay, whatever that happens. Oh, I was way under on fiber. Okay, whatever that happens. That's theirs. We fine tune. And then we're going to pick a few things to try and fine tune. And that's how you make the changes. We don't do all of it at once. We do small things over time. So if you want to make a change, you pick the one thing. Pick one thing and start with that. Stop saying, I can't, and start saying, what can I do? I am, I can't work out. So it's okay to say I can't work out six days a week, but can you do it twice? So make sure anytime you say I can't, say, but I can. I can't track my macros, but I can do portion control. I can't work out six days a week for an hour, but I can do two 20 minute workouts. I can't get 10,000 steps in, but I can shoot for 7,000. I can't get eight hours sleep, but I can aim for seven. You want to start phrasing things like that. Every time you say I can't, or I wish, or that must be nice. Ended with, but I can do, or am I able to, and try to figure out the things you can do. Instead of sitting around, not being happy, being miserable with being stuck. Let's figure out what you can do. That's it for today, guys. So again, down below, if you want to join the challenge, which is going to help you with a ton of this stuff, we're building on 12 week education modules um, or 12 weeks of education modules, a whole bunch of other stuff. That's down below. If you want one-on-one coaching, that link is also down below. Or if you just want to give me a follow, uh, all this kind of information is done um, all the time on my social media channels, but also in the Facebook group, which is free to join uh, daily. There's things being posted in there. So if you're not part of the Facebook group, go join that. Um, all those links are down in the show notes.